Welcome back to my channel. We're sitting here by the cozy fire. In today's video, I really wanted to be able to tell you that the fireplace is done, but that's not the case. I will tell you that all of our projects always take three times as long than they should. We do have four kids, so you know, we have to take care of them too. It is not quite done. Can I tell you something? I'm ready to get rid of their Christmas decor. I'm ready to get these bookcases styled with all of the decor that I have in my basement. I'm just ready. The things that we did do today, we finally got the sconces up. I had to spray paint those. Oh, I had them sitting in my office for like seven weeks while I was trying to decide, did I like this style? Did I want them gold? Did I want them black? And honestly, I'm still going back and forth if I want gold or black. <laughs> but we're going gold for now. I like them. They look so much better than the orangey gold that was originally on them. I am so happy that that decision is over and done with. We also, okay, I say we, but my husband does a majority of the grunt work, the not fun stuff, and thank him for that. <laughs> So we had a little bit of an issue with the trim that was going on the bottom of the cabinets. Let's just say there were three times where there were mismeasurements or the wrong board or what have you, or realizing that after the fact that we didn't like how the board looked. One problem always leads to another, right? We had to figure out what board we really wanted to use because that would determine the next steps. So that ended up meaning the doors had to come off and my husband had to use a special tool to cut some of our trim off that he worked hard at. So it was just a process and uh, he worked hard for about like seven hours today and we're not done yet, but we're getting close. Finished getting that trim piece on. That trim makes all the difference. It makes the built-ins look like one unit. These were actually three separate Billy bookcases from Ikea. They are awesome. They're so cheap. Um, the other thing that we had to do is some of the drywall on the bottom of our fireplace did not look very good. We did hire the drywalling out. My husband <laughs> put wood putty on the really deep spots and then we are putting drywall mud over the screw holes and on top of the wood filler. We are almost done. I spray painted these. They were like an orangey gold, if you remember, and we're gonna get them up, finally. I feel like I've been waiting this for this day for a year. I pretty much have. Are you including narration about how you're gonna change your mind once you get them up there and don't like them? No comment. I've already been debating, do I want black ones? You want this not higher or lower, but centered on it, right? Um, I guess I need to look at it. did it from here to 14 and a half, right? Yeah, I mean, I knew that looking at it, I knew that looking at it, it needed to be over to the left a teeny bit. And that is also what the measurement says. So now that you've got that one, I'm gonna convert this against the wall so that I have. My eyes know best. My eyes know better than my hubby measuring. We already did that. It should be 1/16 short of 16. So 15 and 15/16. Feel like I'm being watched. Margo, don't eat the doggy. Who's your puppy? Yeah, that should be the right spot. 
I mean, you're, you're definitely pushing going too far, but that's my Well, I'll put it up there and I'll see. All right, he's gonna put in the first screw. And one, we're hoping that you got the framing in the back right. And two, there's no turning back. So on the back of this, the back part comes off and, and there is a little level in there. So if my husband actually looks at the level, it'll be fine. Moment of truth. This is what projects are like at our house. Uh, 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 uh. Right? Yay. Your hair's getting long. <laughs> Say two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. If you want to drive. If you want to drive. Drive. <laughs> Subscribe. Yeah. I hope you like my video. Should we turn it on? There we go, that's better. Yay! One down, three to go. talk about what's going on. I don't really know, because I just went to Target. <laughs> All right, so we have the sconces up. That's one thing done. One thing done. First thing to learn when dealing with house projects, everything takes longer than you planned. And multiple things always go wrong. If I'm doing it, yes. So we have the trim on the bottom. As we wanted the little bit taller, it created an issue. We thought that we could just sand down the top of the board so that it could slide under there nicely. And by we, I mean my husband. <laughs> and now my husband's trying to take out a nail. How long have you been doing that? Uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Got it. Ugh. Now back to cutting. I have high hopes when these projects. <laughs> I have high hopes when these projects seem simple. I should know better. Oh, there's candy in there. <laughs> also during some house projects, you find something you didn't expect. I had candy in there for Halloween. That's funny, but we have those, so not a big deal. So because the trim on the bottom is a little bit taller and we did not sand it, we were able to move the Ikea doors up just a tad. But to do that, that meant that we had to cut off just a teeny bit of this trim piece that we put on before. That trim piece connects all the cabinets and just makes them look like one unit. So it was kind of a complicated process, but in the end, it did work out, and I'm very happy with how it looks now. Maybe I could do my normal YouTube channel, and you could do a DIY channel. 
I don't want to see all the comments. <laughs> you did this Ooh, wrong. You did this wrong. <laughs> that's not level. <laughs> oh, wait, that's me. He doesn't know. Stop talking. Yeah. Go ahead, sign in. What? He's below regulation weight and height. He what do you think? And I'm I like it. It's really good. You did a very great job. Well done, beautiful. Even Margo's interested. Go, your bubby. joining me today. I know it might have been a little bit of a letdown that we didn't completely finish, but thank you for joining me. I'm so glad you're here and I can't wait to see you back here tomorrow.